Kenny, congratulations on your new contract. What are your initial thoughts and feelings? Um, obviously very delighted to, to be securing my, my future for quite a long time here. I've been here, been here five years now, this is my sixth, so to be extending that a lot further is um, something that you know, I'm very happy to be doing and, and thank for the club want to do as well. What is it about this place, this club, that's led you to commit your long-term future? Um, you know, initially when I came here, I settled in very quickly. That seems a long time ago now. Um, a lot's happened since I've been here. A lot of ups and downs on the pitch, plenty happening off the pitch. I um, expect my second baby any minute now, so another another little Norwich baby. So I've, I've, everything off the pitch is very good, which helps on the pitch. You know, I've had plenty of success that I want to be involved in going forward, and I think there's, there's many more memories to come. And Norwich fans will be aware, obviously, there's been speculation over the course of the summer. Has that been at all disruptive? How's that affected your preparations for the season? No, I don't think it's been disruptive. I hope it's not showed in, in any of my performances. But I think, you know, me sitting here now, signing a new contract, shows where, where I'm at and shows where the club's at. And I think we, we know that there's still plenty more out there for us to go and get. And hopefully over the next few years that we can really aspire to where we want to be achieve a lot more because I think what we've done has been good but there's, there's still plenty more to do and that's that's why I want to continue my future here. You mentioned you've got a young family of course people forget it's not just on the pitch life when you you commit to a long-term future and home for you is obviously further north so you must feel at home here in this area. Yeah um, it's a long way away but as I say when when you come here everybody speaks about it being a family club and it, it really is um, and as I say I'm, I'm raising a young family here now um, and, it, and it's perfect for us, it, it really is, and that, that helps you on the pitch, you know, if you're settled off the pitch, your family's enjoying life, it, it really is a part of it. I know everybody just sees what's going on on the pitch, but uh, as a whole, you need to be settled as a player to be playing your best football, and I think I am right now. And your relationship with the supporters that turn out, you know, week in, week out to watch you here, must be a factor in keeping you at the club. Yeah, of course it is, and I think right now the relationship that all the players have with the fans, you can see it. Um, I think we'll start this season, you know, decent enough. There's still plenty more to come, we're still improving. But I think you can see that the supporters are getting right behind us. Um, last season was, was tough for everybody uh, and we take responsibility for that totally. But this season we've really got them on side and it's down to us how, how they are. You know, if we're performing, giving everything, then they're going to react to that and that's what they're doing right now. Yeah, it really has been a positive start to the season. What do you think the driving force, the factors that have led to that positive start are? I think a, a great pre-season behind us with the manager. Um, you know, everybody's buying into what he wants to do. Some new faces in the door that are helping us massively. Uh, the, way, the way we finished the season last season, I think the signings have really, really gave us a lift. And, you know, we've obviously been spoke about bringing all the experience in, but I think that's what we needed. I think that was identified and that's what's been brought in. So I think the squad that we've got now is perfect for, for going forward. Uh, and you can see that in the start because, as I say, it has been a good start. A couple of tough games coming up at home. You know, it feels like we've not been, been here for a while. So um, hopefully the fans can get right behind us again and, and drive us on to some more points that we desperately want. And over the course of the summer, when obviously there's interest from outside, what conversations have you had with the manager, with his coaching team? Um, about why they wanted you to remain a Norwich City player. I don't. I don't think it's been it's been too heavy with the conversations because, it, as I say, within within the place, it's not been disruptive at all. You know, it's it's been business as usual. Of course, there's been a couple of conversations where, you know, we've led to this scenario. So I think it shows where everybody was at with it. When, when things came out, the conversations need to be had. But it was it was nothing that was ever going to lead us any other way. And I was just thankful that the club had the stance that they had and it, and it really gave me confidence that, that I knew that I wanted to be here. And you've been wearing the captain's armband for Norwich City so far this season. Is that leadership role something you take an enormous amount of pride in? Yeah, definitely. Through pre-season, at the start of the season, obviously I've had the honour to be with the armband for this club while Grant's um, absent. And it has been, it's always something that I've tried to take on, a lot of responsibility. You know, I'm, I'm a bit older now and it's something that I've... I've always kind of had since my younger days, but when you've got the armband, there's that added bit of responsibility, and you know it's a pressure that I really, I really enjoy. I really thrive off. I try and always help the people around about me. We've still got a lot of young boys that, you know, need to help at times, and um, you know there, there is a lot of older boys in that change room now, and we're all 
we're all pulling in one direction, we're all wanting the same goal at the end of this season. So, you know, I, I try and take a, a lot of responsibility and I'll continue to do that. And you talked about those Norwich City memories that you've had. How has the club progressed over your time here? I think in many ways. I think when you when you look around the place, when you go to Colney, uh, off the pitch has been, you know, since I came here five years ago, the place is in, in such a good a good place right now. Uh, it's in a great state. Obviously, on the pitch, we keep improving and we keep adding quality. Uh, and I think this season this season is going to be special for us. You can see the fans' excitement. There's excitement behind the scenes. We know what we can achieve, but it's down, it's down to us to go and do it now. Exactly that. With your future committed, what are those goals and aspirations for you now as your Norwich City career? I think it's quite obvious. Um, you know, I've, I've had success at this club over the last few years with a couple of promotions by winning the league and I'm desperate for more. You know, that's why I want to be here because I know that we've got that same goal and same ambition. Um, it's where the club want to be, it's where the club should be, it's where the fans deserve to be and, you know, it's it's down to us as a whole to, to really push the club on at that next level.